Hi, I'm Jessica. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be freehanding a bookmark design using the supplies you see here. Alright, I've got a piece of copper cut to size. Starting on what's going to be the back side, I will just begin drawing my design as I'd like it to be. I think I'm going to incorporate several flowers in this design. So I just drew the center and then several petals around it. And then I will draw my second flower that I'd like to have on there. This is the same kind of flower. And maybe a third one down here. And again, I'm just freehanding this design. Each one's going to be a little different. So I would like to include a wavy vine going up to each of these. And they're all going to meet down here in the middle somewhere. There at the bottom. So this is what I have so far. I'm going to draw in a few leaves additionally. Kind of oval shapes with just a little line in the center. I'll probably do those alternating on the vines. This just fills in a bit of the empty space that is between the vines. I've got the middle one done. I can go to my edge flowers, fill those in. I think on this one, I will just put the flowers on the, or the leaves rather, on the one side of it. That way it doesn't look too busy. And then I'll do the same on the other side, just going off to that side where it has the most amount of space. Drawing in my little oval leaves as I see fit. This is what I've got so far, and I think I'm going to leave that good. So now, from the front side, I need to refine my lines. As you can see, it's kind of just bubbly around them. So a good way to do this is on a hard surface, surface such as a piece of tile or glass or even uh, maybe a tabletop even could work for this. To go ahead and just start tracing and outlining your shapes. Now one thing you will want to be cautious of is that you don't have any grit or anything underneath because that will rub off ultimately on your metal because of how soft the metal is. And depending on what effect you're going for, sometimes you will outline both sides of a line or sometimes just one side. It'll give it a different effect. And I'll show you what I mean here. The circle just going to go around the outside of it and it gives the puddles kind of a dimpled effect it gives them a little more a little more depth so you just continue tracing around all of your lines till you get them defined the way you'd like to see them and another thing you can do to this kind of design is you can give it background texture if you wish and sometimes that's as simple as just using the tip of a sharpened wooden dowel and just putting little dots all around and you can go for that kind of effect you can also use a little wire brush and that'll give it kind of a matte, uh, brushed metal effect. And there's a whole lot of varieties uh, to the different types of backgrounds you can do. So there we go. I've got my flowers outlined all to the same point right now. And I think I will also put a little more definition on just the little leaf vein that I had drawn on each of those. 
and I'm just outlining on one side of the vein just to give a little bit of interest and there we go all right so this is what I have so far now I'm just going to use my sharpened dowel here and I'm just going to kind of go for a squiggled effect to give it a little texture, a little bit of interest in the background, and we'll see how it turns out. Hopefully the effect I'm going for is that it will make the leaves and the flowers stand out, and it kind of gives it a natural organic feel to the bookmark. So in this case, I'm going to try to alternate my lines, but maybe try to keep my squiggles the same size. So you got to be careful not to go back over the lines where you drew your design. You don't want to flatten one of your leaves or your petals. nearly have this done here. It's okay if some of them overlap a little bit. You can see that gives it a subtle texture to it. All right, that's what we've got so far. I'm happy with this. What I'm going to do now is use my double-sided adhesive and attach it on the back. Uh, one thing I'll do first though, I will lightly press with my wooden dowel and just try to straighten this out a little bit and make it flat. Just helps a little bit. With my double-sided adhesive here, you gotta be careful when you pull it away, pull away the edge, because it wants to stick. So there we go, I've got that. Ah, see what I mean? All right. All right, I've got the one side of the double-sided adhesive pulled out. Now I'm going to center it very carefully and press down. I got it more to one edge, but that's okay. I don't think that'll make a big difference here. All right, so there we have it. And then I have a corner punch. I'm going to use that to soften my corners. It just gives it a nice rounded look. I'll do that on each of them. And I put the adhesive on there first, and that way I don't have to worry about shaping the adhesive afterwards to fit a rounded corner. So, all right, this is what I have so far. And then I already had my piece of floral paper cut to shape to the right size so that'll give it a nice border around it. So now just press one more time to make sure my adhesive was firmly attached. And then I want to pull just the paper off the back of it. It can be tricky sometimes to get it loose. There we go. So you want to just pull it lightly. If, you, if it starts to catch on certain places, just rub it in that area a little more and it will come off. And then do your best to get it centered. There we go, I got that pretty well centered. I actually got it a little, little off down at the bottom, but I can cut that off with a pair of scissors. So here's my bookmark thus far. I have a bit of transparent paint here. And I'm going to finish up my flowers. I think I will do yellow in the center. And you want to get this on fairly thick because it will, when it dries, it will flatten out. So I'm putting a big blob in the center there. And then use a different paintbrush and get my red paint here. Do a drop in each of the petals. And try not to get any air bubbles if you can. Sometimes, sometimes those come out when it dries, but it's best if you don't have them in there. 
and it got a little bit on the center there. That's okay. Do that on each of these. And then when I finish this, also with these paints, you can get a really neat effect by putting two different colors side by side and then kind of mix a little bit, but they still stay separate. That's a very good effect. So there we are there. Lastly, I will finish up with a touch of green on each leaf and carefully so you don't get it outside the confounds of the leaf. You'll have to excuse all the background noises. We have live out in the country and we have some uh, outdoorsmen out this way. So just finishing up this last bit here. And additionally, if you choose to, you could punch a hole at the top of the bookmark and add a ribbon. That could be a nice touch as well. Especially with this one, a red ribbon might be good to match the color of the flowers. Or, or a nice toned down neutral color that matches the paper. So there you have it. When you're making a hand embossed bookmark, you don't have to have a template, you can freehand it, and uh, each design will come out different. So make sure you let your paint dry, and that way it doesn't have a chance to run. Uh, I thank you for watching. Please let me know in the comments below what else you think would make an awesome project. Have a great day.